One somewhat common task in automotive assembly or airplane assembly is to hold something up over your head and fix it to the ceiling. So if you're putting a part on the bottom of a car or on the roof of an airplane. Oftentimes in industry, they have to have two people working on this job. One guy is just holding the part up in place and the other one's fixing it. One way to handle this difficulty might be to have an extra arm attached to your shoulder, come up, hold the part in place, and that frees up both your hands to work on the task instead of needing an extra person or requiring one of your regular hands. My backpack started out with only one arm on it, this arm for pushing up on the ceiling. But then I had another inspiration when I saw some people cleaning a window and they had to use one hand to hold on to the side of the building to keep themselves stable while they use the other arm to work. I developed this third arm that's fixed kind of at your waist level and it can grab onto features on the sides of buildings or on the sides of handrails for things like washing windows or doing construction on the sides of buildings. And what it can do is provide a degree of active stabilization. So where you would currently be holding on with your hand to sort of prevent yourself from stumbling or help get a better balance, this robot can do that for you. Currently, I control my extra wearable arms with a game pad. I have buttons and, and joysticks, and I press the buttons, and it triggers the arm to enter different modes, like pushing or moving around or stowing away. In the future, I'd like to adapt that to be voice commands. Once this is up and built, how do you actually take it that next step and actually bring this thing out into the world? The next step to make this platform really useful in the world is to add higher levels of autonomy and higher degrees of perception systems onto it. Currently, it doesn't have any cameras, it doesn't have any external view of the world. But the research in robotics overall has developed these really great open source mapping software that we could use to just put, slap some cameras onto the shoulder of this robot, allow it to see the world, perceive where there might be obstacles, where it should grab, where it should push, where it should not touch, and in that way enable a higher degree of autonomy.